Usually, when one sperm fertilizes one ovum, forming one zygote, that this will develop into one individual. The zygote divides in the two-cell stage. These cells will divide again in the four-cell stage to the eight-cell stage, etc. It sometimes comes to pass, however, that some of these cells, once the zygote has begun to divide, break away from the other cells, and so that there are two separate masses having been derived from the same zygote. At first, embryonic cells are totipotent, capable of forming an entire individual. So it can pass that two separate individuals are formed from one single zygote, and thus monozygotic twins, if the cells of the early embryo break apart from each other and implant in two separate regions of the uterine lining. This is how monozygotic twins are formed, and there must apparently be some genetic mechanisms which make the formation of monozygotic twins more likely, since this phenomenon is more common in some families than others.